Hey everybody, with fall coming here pretty soon, um, I designed a cute little pumpkin and sunflower design that I want to share with you on how to make it and hope that you might learn a few things or if not, just enjoy the little design. So this is going to be a print and cut when it's finished. Um, it's probably really cute on a, you put it on cut, you could put it on a card or a cushion or a shirt or anything like that, but it will be a print then cut. So let me show you how to get started with this and let's make one. So the first thing you want to do is go into design space and I have selected maker as my machine because it does give me a whole lot more images to select from. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you can see I've done this already, is I'm going going to look for a pumpkin to use as my background. Now what I suggest to do is to go ahead and select all the images you think might work for your design. But I'm going to tell you right now, let me just find the one. This is the one that I ended up selecting because it fit exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to put that in to my design space. And right now it's two layers. You can see that on my layer panel. And the only thing I can do right now is ungroup, which I wanna do. I'm not gonna use this little background part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. But the first thing I wanna do is I want to go ahead and make the pieces that are going to fit here in my pumpkin thing. I don't know what you call this on a pumpkin. So to, to do that, you have to do a couple things. First of all, is you need to upload patterns because we're going to do a pattern fill on this. I have already uploaded the patterns for this, but I do want to show you how you can upload a pattern that you can use anywhere. So you're going to go to your upload and you see you can upload an image or you can upload a pattern. So at this point, and I kind of skipped a spot here, let's go to Google. And that's not it. And we're going to do a search for, let's do red flag. I can't type background. And of course, the important thing to do is to do in front of it is to do free. So let's do a search for that. And we're going to click on images. And you can see we have a bunch of images. So one of the things you want to make sure, though, is that you are selecting a free image. Now, this red plaid image says it's free. It's it's a free vectors. This is only fair maybe to the designer is that you look for a free one. There are also um, people that you can buy a license from or pay for it that you can use it, especially if you think you're going to make a bunch of stuff and you want to um sell it so i'm going to save my image as a let's just do red plaid and then we'll save it okay so now we've got that saved let's go back to our cricut design space and we're going to look for that and we need to, I need to go back to my pictures and I'm going to go look into my new file I created. And I should have had this ready for you guys, but I did not. So design support. And I'm going to select this red plaid and I'm going to open it up. And it's a print and cut. It Because it's red, I'm going to select this red box because that way in the future, if I'm looking for it, I can look in this red box. So there we go. Now, if you go back to your uploads, there's nothing there, but it is there. So I'm going to go back to the design canvas and we're going to show you eventually how you can use it. Um, right now, what I want to do is I want to use my. I want to contour out these little things, so I'm going to select a shape. And I want to move that to the background. And here's my design. Now, when I select these, and I said contour, what I'm going to do first is slice. 
So I'm going to slice that out. I'm going to slice that out. And I got this one. So I don't particularly need that one. So we'll make that one go away. I'm going to keep this one, but I am going to go ahead and select that nice rich black. I am going to take this one right now and just make it go away by clicking on the eyeball. Now, here is where I want to contour out the stuff I don't need. I don't need that. I don't need that. And I don't need that little piece. So let's just hope there we go. Now I have my little pieces that I want to do fill a pattern with and I need two of them. So I'm going to duplicate that. Then what I want to do is I'm going to contour the outside middle and the other outside. So now I have those and I want to do the exact opposite with this one. I want this one to go and that one to go and there we go. Now we've got the pieces that we want. Now we want to fill them with our pattern. So right now it's a basic cut. It's not going to work. We have to change this to a print then cut. So now let's click on our color block and you can see we have color and pattern. So I have, this is the little pattern that I uploaded. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and show you how it works. Because what I like the best about patterns is my pattern fill is you can edit your pattern. And I like the fact that I could make this a little smaller if I wanted to. And if I wanted to keep this, I think that would look a lot better, but I don't really want that one. So let's just go back. So we still have a print then cut. I want to do select my pattern. And I have already uploaded the glitter one. So I'm going to select that. And I don't think I need to edit that. And the other one I want, I'm going to have to change this again to a print then cut. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select a pattern. And I have already uploaded my leopard pattern. And I have it right there. And I think that that proportion looks okay. So now I want to bring this little fella back. And I'm going to move that right there. And this could be a little tricky because a lot of times your align tool isn't going to work quite the way you want. But I've got this put together. So already you can see how cute that is. So let's select all and we're going to flatten. So now what flatten has done is it's now turned this into a print then cut. Um, oh, and just quickly, if we go back, to a cut file, you can actually right click on this and this is going to give you information about what is the image that you initially selected, which is the pumpkin, which if you forget where it is, you, you can make a note of this particular number. That's the Cricut assigned ID number for that pumpkin. And if you input that exactly as it is in your search button, you will get that pumpkin. But I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. So now let's finish it off by looking for a sunflower. And when I do a search for a sunflower, like you have a nice selection, 476 sunflowers that you can pick from. And I'm going to scroll down and you can choose whichever sunflower that you want. I chose this one. Come on, there we go. So let's insert that. It's a little on the big side, but let's kind of rotate this a little bit. See if I like it like that. You know, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll make it bigger. You can rotate it. All right. You know, I think I like that one. So let's select all. Let's flatten. Let there we go. I have a very slow internet right here. It's not turning. Come on. It's flatten again. There we go. Now we have it back to it's just one flatten. So you could at this point now make it and you can do a print then cut, but 
Cricut has limitations on the size of your print and cut. So if you notice when I make this larger, you're gonna get, and you try to make it, you're going to get this error message. So in 99 times out of 100, it's because your image is too large. So if you click on this, this is gonna tell you exactly how big you can make your image to print and cut, which is only 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. Um, but what I want to do is I think I want to undo my lock because I'd like to make my little pumpkin a little wider. And if I do this, I think that'll work for print then cut. I'm not getting my little yellow warning thing there. Let's go down a hair. Nope. So when we go to make it, this is how your print and cut pumpkin is going to look. And I'm not going to print it right now, but you can go ahead and print it if you want to um, for whatever project you want to use. But let's go back to the canvas and say, I really, really, really would like to have it a lot bigger. I can kind of show you a little trick that you can only do on your PC. This will not work on an iPhone or an iPad. And by the way, you can do this uh, you can do this design on an iPhone and an iPad. So I'm going to go to my settings and I want to do, I'm sorry, I click on that and I want to remove the grid. And then I'm going to use what's called a snipping tool. And you can do a search down here on your PC for snipping tool and you're going to get it. Basically what this is, is just a fancy way of doing a screenshot. So what you do, you know what, and I cut some of that off, so I don't want that one. Let's do the snipping tool again, and you click new. Now you've got this and you can save this to any file you want in your, in your computer. And then that way you can use, like I use Adobe Photoshop, I can print a bigger pumpkin if I want to. Um, so that is one way to make something bigger than the limitations that Cricut gives. But if you're satisfied with the size that you can use with your print then cut, then you can make a pretty cute little pumpkin. So I hope you find this inspirational and I hope you'll find this useful. You can do this a lot of different ways. So again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watching. If you have questions, please let me know. Thanks.